Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Oh, still recovering from the craft fair. <laughs> but I'm so excited. I finally jumped on the knitting machine bandwagon. Now, I looked everywhere to try and find the, um, the Addy machine. A lot of places won't ship to Canada. Uh, a lot of places are sold out. You know, of course, Christmas time, I get it. But I, I wasn't able to get one. So I had to go for the lesser. Uh, I was going to go with the Centro. But uh, again, it was hard getting it here. So I had to go on Amazon and get something else. I was kind of reluctant, but I thought, you know what? Let's just try it. I want to try this out, see if I even like it. There's no point in me um, buying something that's crazy expensive to find out that I hate it. Okay, so I went with <coughs> this one. Uh, it's called an Al Alpex? Al Alperex, Alperex, I think it's called. So, and the nice thing about this one is it came with a whole set of the rubber handled um, crochet hooks. That was nice. <laughs> and then it came with a retractable measuring tape love these i'm collecting these i <laughs> they're hard to find around here so i collect them anytime i can find them uh came with the little screwdriver and it came with a little hook here why they put this one in here i don't know because they gave us a whole pack and then they gave us various uh darning needles they gave us a big long one um, and then they gave us, gave us, gave me, <laughs> uh, three little skeins with, of yarn, which is barely anything, but whatever. It was kind of nice of them. Oh, whoops, dropped them. Um, so, so that was nice. So I put the legs on and then I found out I only had three of these suction cups so i'm missing one <sighs> so i have to go to the hardware store and see if i can find another one but that's okay i muddled through um it has the um what do you call it row counter and the handle and then the place where you put your yarn in okay now a word of caution make sure that you're on a complete flat surface nothing that has a porous top on it um, any kind of a bump on it because it it just doesn't work like the table it's on right now the sub suction cups won't work on it because it's kind of got a rough um, surface to it so I had to go out into the living room and put it on our glass, a glass table. Oh, it was a fiasco, absolute fiasco. But anyways, um, I had to kind of hold it in place because it didn't have the other suction cup, which made a huge difference. Uh, and <laughs> so it was kind of like using elbows and all this to try and do 135 rows. Oh my gosh, my arm is already like burning. But um, I've heard of people using uh, an electric screwdriver or um, drill. I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, but anyway, I tried it out. And I, I really suggest when they say to use the... Um, what do they call it? The wasted yarn, not wasted yarn. Anyway, you use a, a separate colored yarn for 
the bottom and the top so that you can see your stitches when you're trying to get it off the machine. Do that. Didn't do that. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, and then when I started it, the first three stitches I dropped by accident and I was like, okay, this is, this better not be the way this whole thing's going to go. Then at the end, uh, it said that pick your stitches. Oh, hold that thought. Sorry about that. The guys are here to do our gutters and I had to do a wardrobe change there because I was in my pajamas, you know, <laughs> anyway. Um, so I used the Ogo uh, yarn in red, and I'm telling you this, if you use this, cake it up, because trying to get the yarn off of this is not an easy task when you're trying to use a thing. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's, I, I struggled with it. So I said, no, uh, -uh. I'm going to cake it up. And so I did that and it worked so much better. <laughs> so, so here's my hat and I'm actually surprised for my first time doing it. It wasn't bad. You can see a little bit of a, a line, like where my tension was, this is going is underneath the brim so it's okay but you can tell that I had a tension issue there right there but for my first time it's not so bad um, I also <laughs> when I was trying to take it off the centro or the uh, the knitting machine I yeah I ended up just winding it until the whole thing came off and then trying to pick up the stitches after was a nightmare so yeah yeah definitely definitely do what they say and use the second that second color because man that was a pain in the butt so once the gutter guys are done i'm gonna go and see if i can buy another table that is going to actually be good with this see if i can't find another suction cup and then i should be golden <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna get a workout holy man my arm is just like yeah no so anyways i'll leave the link down below uh for this particular machine i did find that when i was going around it was kind of sticking a little bit and you had to kind of work it. But I think it's just because it's a new machine and it's not an overly expensive one. So uh, once I get used to this machine, um, then if I'm still liking it, uh, then I will invest in an Addy. Hopefully, was it Mary Maxim or Hirschner's? I think it was Mary Maxim had them. But I'm, you know, trying to get stuff into Canada is not easy. So, yeah. But, uh, so that is, I'll, I'll see if I can get some video footage of it. I mean, you guys have all seen them. You've all seen how they work up and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm not going to bore you too much with that. But, yeah. So, that is, that is it. That's the one, oh, that's the one I got. And I really like the fact that I got, I'm assuming this is like the same as a Centro, but I was really liking this, of course, you know, and it's not the plastic ones. It's the rubber handled ones. And those are, they're great. I just love them. So, yeah. So that is my tutorial, my tutorial. No, that is my video for today. Ah. Oh. It's going to take me a few days to get over that craft fair, the four day craft fair guys. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know if you have, if you know of any good tutorials on how to use a knitting machine or patterns or anything like that, put them, put a comment down below and let me know what your favorite pattern or tutorial is. Okay guys, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.